So the final race on day one there is the Sefton Novices Hurdle. It's three miles. And it's for novices, of course, is grade one. And the rain is still coming down. The top one is Carnoustie for David Robertson. David Brailsford for Paul Rhodes. Deadly Golf, Jim Murray. Warlock and World of Warlocks for Joshua Sutherland. Molly Boots for Stu Gray. And Senatrion for Molly at Surface. So a small field again. And seven of them. Off they go. Joshua Sutherland, I think, the only trainer to be doubly represented. They've got 13 flights to take. And skip over the first. Nicely with Warlock, the half length leader, but not all that keen, it would seem, to put any pace to the race. So Warlock's in front, the rest of them all in a line. So it's almost formation racing then with Warlock in front. Molly Boots, the grey, probably just second there as they pass the winning post. They've got two more circuits to go. And Warlock from World of Warlocks. And Molly Boots between them. And the Rail Carnoustie, a little bit of a gap to Sinatrio, and the back to our Deadly Golf and Dave Brailsford. So, somewhat pedestrian pace then, they crawl along towards the second. With Molly Boots just come up on the outside of the leader and then ease him back. Warlock it is, from Molly Boots second. World of Warlocks and Carnoustie. Deadly Golf making a forward move on the inside at the same time as Dave Browsford makes one around the outside. And that's just relegated Sinatrion to the back position at this stage of the race as they take the second eventually. And they're all safely over that one. And the order, pretty much the same. They're all in a bit of a lump, really, aren't they? Even though Warlocks in the lead, you can see the jockey's taking a good tug on him. They don't want him to get too far ahead as they take number three. Came off a lot quicker than number two did. And walk in the lead. To Molly Boots second. World of Warlocks third as they get over the fourth. And all over that one okay. Well, the deadly golfers now just drop back to the back. And it's the Warlock horses that have it. Warlock in the lead of World of Warlocks. And Molly Boots. And Dave Brailsford, Carnoustie and Sinatrion in a line. With Deadly Golf just on their inside. He's come up to make it a line of four now. So it's one, two, four, isn't it, at the moment, as they take the fifth. And over oh, that one, okay. With a good jump by Carnoustie in fourth place. Of course, this is three miles and a fur, I think it wasn't it? So it's, may well see one or two of these get pulled up as well, so could be interesting. This is, we've only got seven in it. Past the car park. And Warlock is in the lead by about four or five lengths. To World of Warlocks in second. Carnoustie on the outside. Maybe just showing second there. And Sinatrion's got closer as well. So is Dave Browns with Molly Boots is the one that's just dropped back a little bit. Deadly Gulf. He's quite happy at the back as they take the seventh. And that I'm pretty sure will be the last on the next circuit. Race past the chair, past the stand, and past the winning post in the water jump with a complete circuit to go. Then, and Warlock is the leader. Molly Boots has now moved back up into second again. Sinatrion is third, Carnoustie is fourth, and we're losing one there. World of Warlocks is the first one to fall victim of the pull up kit, and a bit of a surprise that. World of Warlocks is out of it, but Warlock is still in the lead. So, the only trainer with two in the race has lost one of them. And Warlock in the lead. Molly Boots second. Sinatrio third, Carnoustie fourth. Then Dave Brailsford and then Deadly Golf at the back. As day one's racing comes to a close. Big ones tomorrow, isn't it? And Warlock is in the lead. Molly Boots in second. We'll skip nicely over that one. And Warlock in front still. I think that's been throughout the race. Molly Boots has spent a good chunk of the race in second place as well. Sinatrio is third, then Carnoustie is fourth as they take the ninth. And then Deadly Golf just getting a little bit detached at the back. Dave Browsford's making a bit of a forward move now. And then jumping the tenth. 
three to go. And Warlock's in the lead from Carnoustie on the outside of Molly Boots. Then Dave Brailsford. In thinking we're between these four, but Sinatrione and Deadly Golf are close enough to make the ground up if they get their um, best foot forward. Warlock has kicked on now. Kicking on for home. And it's gone six clear. And Warlock at the third last then. Skips over it nicely from Carnoustie. Molly Boots. Then Dave Bailsford. Sinatrione and Deadly Golf are out of shot. And quite possibly out of it. But it's Warlock in the lead then. Warlock is now probably eight to ten lengths clear. Carnoustie is in hot pursuit in second. But it's looking like this lead is just going to stay on his feet to win. Two more flights of hurdles to take. And Warlock... Considerably better than his stable companion World of Warlocks did. And Warlock down towards the second last. Surely just got to jump these two flights to take this. Skips over it nicely. Good jump by Carnoustie in second there. Here comes Dave Brailsford in third. But he might have left that one a little too late. There's only a four and a half to go. And one flight of hurdles. And at that flight of hurdles, World of Warlocks skips over it. They're not going to get anywhere near him, are they? Warlock is going to take it. Not World of Warlocks. Sinatrion's been pulled up at the back as well. And up towards the line, Warlock. He's going to take this one pretty comfortably. And Carnoustie in second. Dave Brailsford is going to finish third. Molly Boot should hang on for fourth. And then a big gap back to Deadly Golf in fifth. So again, a race that turned into a bit of a procession. As Warlock takes it for Joshua Sutherland. Carnoustie for David Robertson second. Dave Brailsford for Paul Rhodes was third. Molly Boots for Stu Gray fourth. And Deadly Golf for Jim Murray was fifth. We're back tomorrow with more.